Hey everyone, Robert Roy, founder of WealthBuildersHQ.com. Welcome to this edition of Trade with Rob, which is for August 10, 2021. Hope you all having a fantastic day. Markets just closed up five or seven minutes ago or so, so let's go take a look at what's going on. Now keep in mind that everything we look at here is for educational purposes only. Nothing is meant to be advice and or recommendations. All right, so take that puppy down. Let's go look at the S&P 500. We'll grab a drawing tool. Uh, let me get my different color there, white. We closed right here on Friday, uh, Monday rather, and we had a nice gap up. We had a good run. We gave it all back, closed the window, right? Vacillated around. We moved up higher, uh, but not as high. We had a lower high in there. We kind of dropped off and went sideways through lunchtime. Quick little snap down, back up. Lower highs again, lower lows in there. And a little head fake there with that low, but we continued to push down with another low, uh, but closed up strong on the last candle of the day. It gave us four and a half points to the upside on the S&P 500. So overall, not too bad. Now the candidate we're going to look at today, a little bit different from what we normally do here. And we're going to look at the QQQ, right? QQQQQ is our tickle symbol. So let me zoom in on this a little bit and let's get chatting about it. All right, so let's unscrunch. Beautiful, baby. All right. The pink line is the eight moving average. It's sitting just up above our blue fib line, which is our zero line. We've moved out from the blue line already here multiple times and watch. Blue line meaning the, the zero line. Let me get a different color. See there, uh, there we go, there it is. So here we had a quick breakout and we came right back down. All right here we had a close, a retest, and then we gapped down so no trade was taken there. We pushed up, here kitty kitty, we pulled back down yet again. This day we actually came in retested, bounced, retested, but we failed off of there. So we have not yet been able to move up into that 372.16 level, or actually 371 would be my first target. So we'll see how it goes on cues. What we're looking for in an ideal world is I want a retest of that 365.47, the zero line. What does the, that retest mean? That means to me, pull down and either close near that zero line and bounce, or intraday, depending on your risk profile, you bounce off that 365.47 level, right? Which again is our blue line. If that's the case, if that happens, we're going to take the bullish trade, buying the stock, buying calls, bull put spread, whatever you want to do for a directional trade. We do it all with just uh, whatever you want to do with a bullish trade. It doesn't have to be directional is what I meant to say. We're going to do it with just buying call options would be the way that we would trade this. So if we take the entry, we come down, tag it, and bounce. We take the entry. Our stop is down here at 362 half. Okay. Our first target, target one is right there at 371. Actually, let's do this. Let me get rid of that crosshair so it's not in our way. So here's my stop, and that is my initial stop. Not my stop forever. Target one is right here, the green line, 371. If we hit target one, you're going to move your stop up to break even, maybe a little bit above break even. Right, so 371 is our first exit. We're getting in around 366 and a half. 67 somewhere around there so you got a couple of points to the upside at that point you moved your stop up target number two is that 377 half level so <clears throat> what are we doing here you're selling half of the trade at target one moving up your stop selling the second half of your trade if it hits resistance if it doesn't and it backs off because you came just above break even you're at a point where it's really not costing you anything in that trade first half had a profit center second half was a wash considered a wash a little bit up a little bit down it's a wash and you're good to go, right? Not all of these trades will make it to the second level. We do it for that runner. Sometimes you get ones that blow right by them. Some of the ones we've done, you've seen them, have exploded past there. I'm going to be teaching an advanced technique at the live training I'm doing in New York coming up on September 17th, which is called Charting Your Way to Success. It's a $99 event, folks. Go ahead and check it out. It is, you know, go to our website, go to the members area. It's a great, great, great opportunity to come and rub elbows 
shoulders, elbows, whatever you want, with some of the best traders there are are going to be at that event with us. So there you have it. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. I'll see all of you at our next update. Bye for now. Folks, thanks for checking out my trade idea from my Trade with Rob video series. Now, if you've taken any of these trades in this series, non-funded, of course, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section down below. While you're here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video. And click below to check out these great trainings I've put together just for you.